Okay, so today we're going to analyze an analogy slash concept by Henri Cartier Brisson. And if you're not familiar with the name or his work, Brisson was considered to be the godfather of street photography. And if you're into street photography, you've probably seen one of his images before. Uh, just to give you an example, here's an image by Brisson, one of his most famous images. Uh, but this image here is very powerful, and it's probably one of the forefront images that you'll see uh, when you look up anything street photography related. Anyway, over the weekend, I was reading his interviews and conversations, and I noticed a reoccurring theme that always seemed to pop up when he talked about the creation of his photos. He always references drawing or painting and the reason for this is because before he was a photographer he actually was I think, I think he started off as a painter. So taking his background into consideration we can understand why he uses painting as an analogy for photography and that's what I want to break down today because that analogy itself provides us with so much powerful detail and useful information in regards to creating photos. Now I stumbled upon a quote here in the book that talked about you know Brisson's approach to making these photos and at the time they were talking about surrealism which is something else that he admired greatly now this quote reads for me the great passion is the photographic shooting which is an accelerated drawing made from intuition and the recognition of a formal visual order so let's stop there really quick and kind of analyze exactly what he's trying to say here now he starts off the quote with for me the great passion is the photographic shooting so he's already talking about you know his passion within photography now he adds to it by saying which is an accelerated drawing so now he's kind of letting us know that the way he thinks of taking photographs is just like drawing and he's saying that you know using a camera basically is just like drawing but instead you're using a different tool he follows that up by saying made from intuition and the recognition of a formal visual order so made from intuition let's stop there really quick and talk about that when he says made from intuition what does he mean when he you know in regards to making a photo so with intuition for the thing that I get from it is that he's essentially just talking about knowing your compositions being able to visually recognize it and process that in your head because you are using your intuition when you make a photo you know you don't blatantly just walk around and snap photos and call that art instead I guess his approach is that you got to use your mind and you have to use all of the tools and the different skills and techniques that you've learned and put that into making a photo and every great photo starts with a thought i mean there are going to be great photos out there that are just randomly snapped but most of the photos in this world are composed they are made from intuition and you know they're highly thought about and so when Brisson says and the recognition of a formal visual order I think the formal visual order he's talking about is composition again you know you have to know these visual orders in order to be able to apply that to your eye uh, and a good way to do that first of all is just to study different photos I mean grab some photo books from your favorite photographers and just look at how they compose their images, break it down, and really get into the knit and grit of exactly what they were thinking because when he talks about that visual order, he's not talking about, you know, on the on the uh, ground level here, he's not talking about an actual like set order to making a photo. Instead, he's talking about things that he already has set up in his mind. And again, this goes back to his background with drawing and painting. Let's talk about that analogy first of all and really break it down to kind of get you guys to understand why he uses this analogy for photography so essentially when you make a photograph and when you make a drawing or a painting they are both two-dimensional they are going to start off on a plane just like this blank piece of paper now Think of the basic principles of drawing. You don't have to be a good painter. You don't have to be you know, somebody who's good at drawing to understand this concept. But think of the first principle. You start off with a blank canvas. So just think of it. When you take, or before you take a photo, you're starting essentially off with a blank canvas. Your negative has not been exposed to light yet. So these are equal. Now what's the first fundamental to drawing, right? You're gonna first of all have an idea for what you want to draw on the paper. So that starts with the first step. Once you have an idea of what you want to look for while taking photos, now you can kind of get into the composition. So now you have your blank piece of paper, you have a thought in your head of what you want to draw. Now it's all about executing it. What goes into your frame? What are the certain angles? What are the subjects of the photo? Are you gonna include different you know, focal points throughout the frame or is it just gonna be one? 
are you, know, you going to use the rule of thirds or are you going to use the golden ratio to kind of compose so that the viewer's eye you know, naturally draws the attention to what you want them to look at. And it's the same thing when making a photo. You see a scene, you have it in your head what you want to photograph. You essentially pull the camera to your face and now you're changing the angles of the point of view and perspective of what you're photographing. You know, sometimes you get a little bit closer because there's a lot of clutter down there and you want to cut that out of the frame. So you get closer. Okay, but now you notice that you know, you want to add a little bit of Dutch tilt to add some more drama to the situation. Maybe you're going to have some juxtaposition within. And so the analogy is freaking genius. I mean, think of it. Think of making a photo just like how you would think of making a drawing or painting. And when you apply those principles from drawing over to your photography, you're going to slow yourself down and you're going to break it down little by little and step by step. I think this is what he talks about with intuition. And then composition is the visual order he talks about. It's not necessarily meaning that there is a step by step process in making photos. Instead, he's saying that if you train your eye enough and you have the intuition, the skill, the technique, the knowledge in order to make a photo and what goes into making good photos, you can go anywhere pretty much and make these images. And that is really powerful to me because, you know, I never really thought of drawing to be so interesting. But now that Brisson has mentioned it within his book, you know, I'm starting to look at drawings and I'm starting to look at paintings and I'm thinking in my head, like, I wonder why, you know, this painter drew a blank, like black lines straight down the middle. When, you know, in his head, you know, that's his composition. Maybe that adds to the drama of his image. Maybe he's trying to show two separate scenes. Overall, I just think this analogy is genius and I hope you guys do as well. So folks, if you can take away one thing from this analyzation of Brisson's analogies with uh, drawing, painting, and photography, I would just say, first of all, think of how you're gonna make a drawing and just really write it down. Maybe grab a notebook, sit down for like maybe five to 10 minutes at a coffee shop and really think, okay, what goes into making a drawing? Once you have those basic principles in your mind, apply that to your photography. Now think of the camera just like a blank canvas or a blank sheet of paper, and you're gonna try to make drawings or paintings out there with this tool. And I think that's really, honestly, truly, I feel like that's what Brisson was doing. And I think he mentioned it, mentions it as well uh, within the book that this is just an accelerated tool for a drawing. Yeah, that's pretty much wraps up the video, you guys. If you wanna see more, you know, analyzing different quotes or street photography inspiration, definitely leave me a comment down in the section below there. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this as well. And yeah, I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day. And, um, <coughs> Minolta gang. <laughs>